I'll have to climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route? <sighs> This way seems to be the only one. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm all right. I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just... If I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. That view... It made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. And I see no dots. Shit! How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yasna, what is it? Why is it too late? Yasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... You. What have you done? Shit! He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen, I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. Ah! So much for talking. Yasna, don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. I guarantee you. What? Just keep your mouth shut. For your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. Well. Unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, now what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot? He has a gun. I'm a technician, <sighs> smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. That's right. Okay. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, no. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling yes, on about? You have a death wish. Only short answers from now on. I'll ask the questions and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or some code. Maybe grunts. Do you understand? Uh... Do as you see fit. I'll help as best I can. Is there anyone else? Uh-huh. So he's not alone. Are others close by? Start, damn it. 
Nah. -uh. Got it. That's why I can't hear the. Nah. -uh. No. Not because of that. Uh, so there's a person who. Nah. -uh. Not a person. When it rains, it pours, huh? Uh huh. That's surprising. Do you have some alien there? Of course not. Nah. -uh. Got it. Of course not. That's why I'm betting on a humanoid robot. Uh -huh. The Electrobots have already been phased out, so it must be one of the Arctans. A model with a small head pressed into the body. One of those so-called porters. Theoretically harmless, but due to its tremendous strength and potential reprogramming, you best be careful around it. Come on! Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh -huh. Which part? Oh, you just had to... Legs? Uh-huh. It's about the legs? No. -uh. I must have misheard. Let's try again. Does it concern... Legs? Uh-huh. All right, got it. Yes, I caught that one before. Now keep in mind that there's something special about him that you can see and that I cannot hear. But what exactly, I don't know. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Uh. Do you think you could ask? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Yes, not really? Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow, I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It's just me and my colleagues. The ones who are less fortunate. Maybe it's good that you came here. You'll meet in person. Yes, no, I'm listening you. The signal is getting weaker. Wherever we're leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Uh -huh. Get in. Go, yes, sir. Stay calm. I, I, I don't want to. Go. Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh. I'll do everything in my... Sit here, and don't you dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. too. What about our friend? Still cranky? Uh, I've always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. Gus, my friend, it's just me. Take it easy. You're safe, but you have to eat something. 
to have strength. Oh, gee, don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. Did you like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Zebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. They objected so much. Sorry, I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. Uh, Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos. Hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. I'm asking. You're Rahitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. Brother is a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. Uh, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. You've been camping here long? Do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. <sighs> Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. 
Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. The part about being scientists is true, but we were supposed to see what you were doing here. Or rather, what the Invincible will do here in several days. That makes no sense. The command center has no reason to send a second cruiser to this sector. And yet, they sent you. Hell no. We stopped here by accident, due to work on the main core. I don't understand anything anymore. Neither do I. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you. Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So... Not many. I told you, we're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Gorski, a cyberneticist. A golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. Everyone was convinced he would get far, but he only managed to take a few steps. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... she was... a dear friend of mine. Krauter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. He was mortally wounded while wandering in a stupor. We don't even know how it exactly happened. Koval. Our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors. Those who were unable to... to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived. And so we wait. What a shame. Last time you had something to drink. The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. No thanks. I see. So all in all, we don't trust each other. I know what caused it, and how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind, wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? I could, if you released me. Nice try. We'll do as follows. Mark 10 will watch over you, and I'll keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Mark 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted. I confirm. Should I start the surveillance? Yes. Guard our guest. Oh, great.
Bliskas. It's high time to get out of here. It's broken. What a perfidious prick. Some kind of sedative. Wow. I guess it's a good thing I didn't drink that water. Out, though I intend to change that as soon as possible. There. Have you met Spluskas and Lendl? Yes. How do you know their names? I've intercepted the Alliance's communications. Keep going. We'll discuss everything on the way. The path along the cliff looks much safer. I think I can get down here. Good. Proceed. I talked to Rahitra for quite some time. Then he had an Octan guard me, but its algorithms proved easy to trick. What do you make of this man? What kind of person is he? He's a distrustful type. Rough around the edges. It was impossible to get along with him. Then we need a new plan. Huh, yeah. Seems so. Although I could use some rest. Uh, it was a rough day. A night. A rough couple of days, actually. Sorry, Doctor, but you'll have to get away from there first. Where to go? There's a hole from an antimatter beam on the other side of the canyon. Very well. Perhaps you can find out where the invincible landed. Oh, I didn't tell you the most important thing. Condor's here on this planet. Condor? Yes. Looks like HQ got it all mixed up. Both the arrival time and the ship itself. What? That's unbelievable. How could the intelligence be so wrong? As soon as we return, I'll break their. <sighs> We don't have a better plan. I want to go there. To Condor? Yes. 
Their scientists had the equipment and time that we don't have. They could have discovered something important, unless they flew away. I'm in the tunnel. Can you hear me? You're cutting out a bit, but it's not that bad. In future, please report any communication difficulties to me in advance. Thank you. a rover. Do you mean have, Doctor? Well, well. You've never made jokes like that before, sir. I'm just glad you're fine. And that I'll rob that Alliance prick, huh? Maybe. A little. Let's go. We need to get to the end of this insane story. No idea. Rahitra didn't tell me anything about it.
I've driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. find something worthwhile. <sighs> There's several options here. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans, biological organisms, all this so-called life is so fragile, compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? No, someone else. Well, you can't help him anymore. But there are still people who are alive and need you. Let's not forget about them. As you said yourself, Doctor. Please keep going. And another one. Oh, the sight of death is starting to exhaust me more than frighten me. Which, in itself, is quite... No, Doctor. You're well aware that these are our survival mechanisms. <sighs> yeah. I am.
There's a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energobot somewhere. But I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although... It's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way. So even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Oh, wait! Wouldn't a transporter. They're here. It's standing still. In front of the force field. Is that Milos, convoy? I'll confirm soon, but it's yes, inside. most likely. More than one. Two. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. I'm going in. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Ah, they must be in the back. Moment of truth. Ah, it's on. Get the door open. Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors have... Wait! The back door opened. Oh. No. What? what this vehicle. It? It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness. With no chance of understanding what's going on. I'm sorry you have to see that. The number of registers, 428. Playing in broadcast mode. Did you turn on the recordings? No. It started automatically. Hello, Condor. This is most interesting. It's day 26, time 805. I'm continuing my search for the missing crew. I've checked the excavation area. I've yet to find others. Come here as soon as possible. Ooh. Those were the longest few steps I've walked in my entire life. Have you noticed anything? Astrogator, please spare me. They're all dead. And they died in such a gruesome way. I'm not talking about that. The recordings. It's playing over and over, I know. It's jammed. The thing is, it's not the same recording. He says the same thing over and over again. The same dates, times, but they're different recordings. Oh, shit. So he is losing his memory, too. Just like me. Yes, but it sounds much more serious. You recall everything. And in his case, the memories don't come back. If all these recordings have the same content, He's been here for far too long. Far too long not to receive help from Condor. Damn. You're right, Doctor. Nobody will come. I'm afraid there's not a soul here on this damned planet, except for the three in the cave. Yes, ma'am. I have a request. I'm listening. Let's skip listening to the rest of the recordings. Can you stop them? No way. I'm not going back there. Well, let's change the channel, then. One notch up. That I can do. All right, talk to you in a second. Ah, much better. Agreed. <sighs> Astrogator. Someone's firing distress flares from near the hideout. Do you think it's Rahitra? Who else could it be? Did he realize I ran away? No. He broadcast a radio message. He didn't say a word about you, as if nothing had happened. Oh. It means he just started a new cycle. Please be more clear. He fell asleep and forgot what happened the whole day. And once again, he will wake up on the 26th day of the mission. I almost feel sorry for him. Don't joke about it. If I don't snap him out of this cycle, 
I'll keep repeating it until he dies. Or goes insane. Of course, I feel the tragedy of this man. You want to rescue him, even though he's still a threat. You don't have to say anything. must be coming from the hill above the hideout i've seen pictures of that hill before from above probably from a balloon remember at least several vehicles so there's probably direct access yes exactly See the hill. I'll be there in a minute. Please slow down. Remember, he has a gun. He didn't shoot at you the first time, but if you go in now... He won't this time as well. In any case, let's not worry in advance. I haven't located him yet. What about all those machines on the hill? Is there anything there he could use to threaten you? No reaction to your late-night visit? Well, let's see. Given you're bringing him such devastating news, you might overreact. Literally erase me from this planet if he wanted to. I know what's at stake. I can handle it. <sighs> right, Rahitra. Where are you hiding? Is he already left? Don't you see? I don't. But he's here. Rahitra. What? How do you... Uh, 
I'll tell you everything. Just shut up for a moment and listen. I will not. For Hitra, for fuck's sake. Do it for Spluskas and Lendor. You think it's the 26th day of the mission. Just after the attack on your base that left many of you in critical condition. But the truth is much worse. Milos left a long time ago. What? H how do you... You fell victim to that attack as well. The Microbot Cloud has wiped all traces of your comrade's memories. Your long-term memory is probably fine. That is, up until the moment you found them. You keep forgetting everything that comes after. I have reason to believe it happens during sleep. As a result, you relive the same day over and over, waiting for backup that will never arrive. The micro what? Cloud? That's bullshit! I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but... Focus, Rahitra. We've already met once. We spoke in your hideout. You've had me at gunpoint already. Tell me, where did you wake up today? On the mattress where you usually sleep? Or on the floor next to the radio? What does that have to do with anything? You, you see, we talked for a long time yesterday. And we fell asleep while we were sitting. The water bottle you gave me is still by the crate. Did you put it there last night? Don't mess with my head. Milos will come. Milos is dead. They're all dead. They've been lying nearby for hundreds of days. You were supposed to go and check why contact was lost. You were supposed to leave tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. Stop it! I know that it's hard for you to believe. I'm not against you. I came back to help you. No, I'm warning you. I'll use my gun. Rahitra, I know you won't shoot me. I've been here. Good. You're finally getting to him. 428 days. At least that's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. This. this. this cloud? A result of the evolution of inorganic beings. It, it attacks the most important parts of biological organisms. Our brains. It responds to radio waves. That's how it found our crew. Damn it. Every time I broadcast, there's a wave bombarding my devices. This electromagnetic field. Cloud produced it. Stop that. That's right. This is how it damages our brains. Our robots and, and all machinery. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Hurry. Copy that. What's going on? Who are you talking to? To someone I trust. And he says it's gonna get very hot around here very soon. If you don't want to have another encounter with the cloud, I recommend running for the hills. You're saying it'll be here soon? Let's move. Can he get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. What the fuck? Can you stop him somehow? You'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see you. You can't be them, join them. You have a much better chance of survival if you stick together. Hey! Uh, you! What's your name, anyway? Yasna. I'm... Ah, uh, whatever. You know already. What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh... uh... Thought so. The emitter's energy system is... Here, company. take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. Check, check. 
Shrinking. Do something about it, will you? Rahitra, are you there? What's going on with you? Fuck! You've got to be kidding! Rahitra, you coward!
don't actually expect anyone on the ship to have survived. Do you? I'm not that naive. I need the Condor itself. In order to... Have the entire arsenal of our flagship at our disposal. We might be losing now, but it doesn't mean we can give up. We'll send the Cyclops out to fight. Cyclops? That's a code name for... It's more of a moniker. For an 80-ton machine with firepower exceeding all intimates combined. We usually use it in conditions of high radiation, contamination, enormous pressures and temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. So it doesn't depend on the surface. In addition to the Dirac's force field, it has an antimatter spherical blaster. And it has the most advanced electronic brain at our disposal. Defeat is not an option. Uh, wait! Haven't you had enough? It might be time to hide and consider other options. You must be kidding. I'm not gonna sit on my ass in the dark. Now I finally know what happened? I, I see you're not gonna listen to me either. Because there's nothing to talk about. Look, I'm giving you a simple choice, Yasna. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. But we could fly to Condor right away. Or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Somehow, it does not surprise me. Let's fly. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. He's not here. Rietra? He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. You had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. <sighs> Didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. Wow. It's impressive. The Condor? Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitcher is. Indeed. You'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices on the ship. I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. I'll find that radio. No worry. Huh. So that's their marvel of military technology. Ritual wastes no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he thinks? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah. What does it look like? Must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret, so there are a lot of unsubstantiated legends about it. It's big. Bigger than a transporter. Its launchers are hidden for now. But for some reason, it gives off such an unsettling impression. Does it make any sounds? Uh, no. It's big and quiet. Uh, well... If only we could get hold of its blueprints. This is hardly the time, Astrogator. 
Yes, yes. Another time. May need to focus on finding Rahitra. Suppress his warlike tendencies. There's one more thing, Yasta. And this is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while. But so far, everything indicates... What is that, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, they'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. Everything makes sense now. They were coming to rescue their people from the very beginning. Not to gain some imaginary advantage over us. One doesn't exclude the other, but yes. Turns out it's mostly about the Condor. I'm in the cargo hold. 